Hi YouTube, um, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Garrett Spring. Um, I just recently made this channel. I have been on YouTube for a while um, on a different, a different uh, channel that I was just making music. I uh, was just posting covers and stuff like that. In the past I used to make um, plant videos. I've been um, really into horticulture most of my life. I am just turned 20 and I've been doing this for about 10 years. Um, I have two greenhouses and a whole lot of plants. Um, some may say too many, but uh, I refuse, I rebuke uh, <laughs> that. I think that there's never too many plants. Um, I think it's a great hobby to have and I personally I think it has um, been sort of a life preserver for me. Uh, I guess it sounds kind of dramatic, huh? but uh, especially over the last six months um, since um, this pandemic, it has really been something um, that has been very grounding for me in this time of in, uh, crisis. Um, so I've been very grateful that uh, I've kind of built this sort of um, sanctuary for myself in this hobby. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there that are into plants can relate to that. And, um, you know, there's never been a better time to pick it up if you're new. Um, so yeah, so with that being said, I figure what a, be what a better way to start um, a channel introduction than to do an unboxing. And I got this box right here from Cart's Greenhouse. Um, I've always wanted to order from here. I'm really into begonias. I'm super into begonias. Um, I used to have a very extensive begonia collection and then I kind of shifted gears and I grew a lot of carnivorous plants and um, I still do. But I've been trying to incorporate some begonias back into that because I, I really miss their fancy foliage um, and I just have a, a big love for them. So we're gonna do this unboxing. I hope Okay, so I'm gonna be getting a new camera soon, um, so hopefully better camera quality, but uh, yeah, I hope you can see everything very well. If not, I will just move over to this table. Um, we are in my little studio room that I plan to do filming in. Um, this is sort of uh, my study room, I do my music and stuff, but I also have quite a number of plants in here, and I also have a lot of plants under lights in my room which I'd like to do a tour for you guys at some point. Um, but yeah, just giving you a little background. Uh, let's dive in. So let's get this baby open. I've been waiting all morning and there's nothing quite like the feeling of getting uh, plants waking up to a new box at your door. Um, it's very exciting, especially when you know that some of these plants you've been waiting a long time to grow. It's from California, Cart's Green, uh, Greenhouse. Um, and I had spoken, I think his name was Mike. He's very friendly, um, got back to me very quickly when um, responding to my inquiry about when it would be ship, shipped out. So we got the invoice. And it looks like there might have been some substitutions. Um, but let's see. I got five plants in total, so. I want to like open this with you guys. Like I want you to be able to be right here and see. Um, so I'm really gonna just kind of do my best. Ah! Oh no! A spider. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. I hate having the, you know, but like I don't know what kind of spider that is. Damn. I just can't have that hopping around here like it's from California, I don't know. Okay, okay. 
Okay, so first, um, we have... I've been waiting a long time to grow this one. This is Begonia Lana. It's a beautiful angel wing. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of Begonia Sophie, if you've heard of that angel wing. That's another really common one. This one's not as common. you got to kind of search for it. I've had to look for it for years um, because someone, one of my other plant friends, had grown it and said it was one of their favorite angel wings. And I don't grow a lot of angel wings, so I was... Look, I'm looking forward to this one, hopefully to get a decent size specimen out of it at some point. Okay, we have some crazy foliage going on down here. Okay, this is Begonia Maiden. So I ordered um, Begonia Marmaduke. But I got this maiden instead because I, I said substitutions were fine because they don't always have, you know, what you want. Um, but this is close. So I'm happy either way. Um, Pony maiden. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a nice rhizominus. I have another one over here that looks kind of similar. This is no ID. You can see this guy with these deco leaves over here um very cute um okay next we have um let's see okay so i ordered um begonia terstonii which i was kind of looking forward to so i'm a little disappointed that this is a substitution but it's okay this is Begonia Petra de Anthena. I've never heard of this. Um, looks like it has nice fuzzy leaves. Yeah, okay. Okay, and then I ordered Begonia, this Begonia called um, Begonia Carol, please. I'm not even gonna lie, I kind of ordered it for the name. But that also got substituted. Um, I was just really looking forward to being like, this begonia is called Carol, please. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty funny. Uh, it was not that it looked like nothing special, but you know how sometimes a name just kind of like sucks you in. Um, I think it was just another like uh, almost a wax begonia type. But this is a rhizomatous. And honestly, this is so much prettier. This is begonia's autumn's best. I'm really into this. I love these dark. You can't see it, but it's like iridescent almost, the leaves. Um, it's another eyelash, rhizomatous type. Super into it. Beautiful. Look how fuzzy. Very nice. Okay. Okay, the last one is what I was most excited about this whole order. Um, this is a plant that I had read about um, like years ago in one of my houseplant books. And I'm really into big foliage. I love a big leaf. Um, I love big, bigger plants in general. Unfortunately, I live in New York. So, uh, realistically, bigger plants don't really work, work out for me that much because either they have to go dormant or like I just have to have a lot of space to bring them in. So, this is called um, Sparmania africana, also known as African hemp. And here it is. It's kind of, this is how I expected it to be kind of short and stocky. But this will actually grow to be quite a lovely um, specimen um, with pretty big leaves. And it's very useful in creating a tropical lush kind of look because it gets very full. Um, yeah. So overall, I'm, I'm pretty pleased. These are decent plants. Um, very, it was it was worth the value. I think it's, this order was less than seventy bucks for these five plants. Um, so I'm not like I didn't I didn't overdo it, you know, which it's easy to overdo it, and I I did not. I restrained myself. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll, I'll bring you over and, and show you these individually, I guess. Um, unless you can see them from where you are. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about this one. I really would, I hope to have, to make a big specimen out of this. I've been trying to grow this plant for years and I've been looking for it at like every house plant nursery I've ever been to. So when I found it on their website, I was like, okay, I think I need to place an order. Because it wasn't, this order wasn't so much, these begonias were kind of an add-on and I was really looking forward to Lana too. So I got the two that I really was most um, here for. These other guys um, are going to be nice additions as well. I am pretty pleased. I think that this autumn's, um, autumn's best is beautiful. Even if it isn't named Carol. I think it's very nice, it's very lovely. It's gonna be a wonderful uh, rhizomatous as it gets bigger. It's gonna be nice and red. And um, it is autumn, so it's a sign of the times. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's really it. I'll bring you over, um, but uh, welcome to my channel. This is, this is my first video, so I, I hope you like it. Um, stick around. I plan to make some just vlog type stuff. I'm always gardening. I'm always doing something with plants. Um, so, uh, and I like to talk. So I figured uh, it was about high time that I made a YouTube channel. Um, and I like connecting with other plant growers. I don't have a lot of plant connections, um, truthfully. Um, so, so yeah, so welcome, and I look forward to our time together, and, uh, and yeah, so I'll show you these, but thank you so much for stopping by, and, um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, so just wanted to bring you in really quick. Um, this is Autumn's Best. You can almost see that iridescence a little bit. Lovely. We got Miss Lana Del Rey. Uh, uh, not actually, but uh, <laughs> Begonia Lana. Maiden, Begonia Maiden. Petra de Enfena. Okay. Okay, 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 work those fuzzy leaves, yeah. And then um, the African hemp. So yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for stopping by. Um, and I hope to see you soon. Um, yeah, stick around. I'll see ya.